Welcome, friends. Last guy here, and it's time for Scarf Plays Potion Party again. This time on the Switch. Seeing the port difference here. Uh, first one is that Top Hat uh, Games Inc. They are the ones who handled uh, the publishing of this uh, this port, and it is essentially the same game. Now, unfortunately, it didn't try to take advantage of the Switch in any way, from what I could tell. Yeah, Top Hat Studios. Um, I fiddled with it a little bit already. There's no touchscreen support, none of that stuff, and to an extent, that's, there's nothing they could really do with touchscreen, but there's some things that maybe. For the most part, the controls are the same, from what I've seen, what I've touched on. These are all the same. You should watch the PC version first, as I go slower on that one. So you can see what's covered in there, but it's the same thing here. Really, at the moment, from what I've seen, it's really just whether you want to play on the Switch or you want to play on PC. Uh, if they support... Uh, remote play online to do local co-op online on Steam and you have friends That seems like the way to go really for the switch though This you have two controllers from the start. That's the big advantage right there. You got two controllers from the start and We're gonna do the solo first to just see how it feels gameplay wise as the same or different these stages are the same Real quick if you go in here. I mean I do that later actually so let's just do solo for now to the first stage. So you just see how the controls feel. You only have two things you can do. Grab, do you think. Like, which is a very simple thing for, like, it's an overcooked concept, so, yeah. I'll say it now, looking at the multiplayer stuff, um... I like this in general, just because I like these kind of games. Like, just managing a... Like a potion shop, making things, putting them, uh, selling them, all that stuff. The one thing is... Um, let me just get this over here. Oh, I messed up. Get this here. Do that one. One thing, though, is when it comes to Overcooked, the mayhem and the fun really does come from playing multiplayer. It really does. So having two, three, four people, that's where the really creative ideas come in. Like, this is straightforward. From the levels I've done, it's been pretty straightforward. And... Because you can't do where you have a middle island and you're just passing ingredients to each other. Not, not a middle island, but like a middle uh, area and you're just passing ingredients to each other. You can't really do that. Oop. There. We can't really do that. I'm trying to talk and do this at the same time. Uh, in single player. You just can't do that concept in single player. Which is, yeah, it's the same thing for Overcooked. Overcooked isn't as fun as a single player experience as it is as a group experience. That's just a given. And so, as much as I enjoy this, other people who want that overcooked thing of mayhem, obviously you gotta play it in multiplayer. And so we're gonna try to do some multiplayer alone, um, and we'll see how that goes. <laughs> oh shoot, put this over here. We only have like another minute and twenty to go. And really, the rest of this episode will be me just experimenting with that. And this game isn't out yet. What I wanna do is, um, um yellow? Okay. What I want to see is... This here. I'm going to play the single player campaign all the way through on PC or Steam or Switch, one or the other. And when the game does release on the 8th, uh, which I think this video will come out after the 8th because it's just the scheduling issues I have right now um, with everything. Yeah, this will come out... I'll try to get this out sooner. I'd like to... Uh, I'll try to get these out on the... Like, after release. So these are recorded pre-release. And by the way, they were provided to us by the... Top Hat gave us this version, and the developer gave us the uh, the, the Steam version. Red Potion? Okay. It might have enough time if I hurry the hell up. I don't think I have enough time. Nope. I have enough time. It's 30 again. Um, so I'll probably maybe dive into the PC one. Or the Switch one. Oh, no, no, the PC one. And if they do do remote play together... Oh, got it in time, sweet. If they do do remote play... Guaranteed one-shot recommendation of this game, if they do remote play. If they do not do remote play, then it's based on the single player for me, whether I'd recommend the game or not. It just, yeah, it has to be based on the single player at that point. Get that, and... Oh, get that one up. So now we're gonna do multiplayer. So I'm gonna try to do two characters at once here. 
just to see what's in there. So we're going to spend the next 15 minutes just trying to do multiplayer and just seeing what some of these levels look like. And it ain't going to be easy running two controllers at once. Luckily, you only have to hit two buttons. Oh, we only have to use a stick and a button, that's it. There's no running, like you already uh, already at your top speed, so <laughs> okay. Alright, so... Into the game. Now we're going to do co-op. Uh -oh. The first player is able, and second player is also able. It's going to be really confusing because they look the same. I don't have another character yet. So you go to shop, and look at those. Those things carry over to both characters. Alright, so... Able. Able. Start. Really? Oh, okay. So, unlocking them in single player also unlocks them for multiplayer. So that's good to know. Okay, so, really quick, just looking at stage one. You can see how it's different. Because it's just bigger. There's two of each. And let's just do this. Let's do this thing. Okay, for now, let's focus on one character. There's only so much you can do right now. All you can do is plant. Alright. For now, just one controller. Okay. Let's have the other controller now. So, grind it up. Grind another one up. There we go. And then have this guy... Do -do 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 uh, fill these up with water as well. Alright. Put the bucket away. I feel like what you would do is you would have one person handle, like, grinding and potion duty. And then the other one's just managing the plants. And maybe plant duty also sells the potions. Something like that. Because, like, one character can be doing this and just constantly just making more powders. Another character is just selling and, develop and sending out the potions and things like that. Like, you can have this character only there. So I give them the plants that they can powder. By so giving it to them, and then this person is just doing this. And then they can fill gaps as they come up. Like, that one's gonna need a blue powder. So I put a red powder here, a uh, red potion here for later. And prepare this. Okay. Making a yellow because I can. Well, at least it starts so it does not too much to worry about. And like while I'm doing one thing, they can do another thing. It's all about coordination after all. Give them the potion. And then whoop. whoop there you go. Just constantly just doing that. Another plant. I guess they could, yeah, take the plants to grind and then the other character would be watering. And the thing is, I saw when you do four players, it's the same setup. They don't add even more things when you do multiple characters. Blue again? Jeez. People just only want blue potions. So popular, blue. Ooh. Put that in there. Eh. Good, now I can put the bucket there. Oh. Here's your blue potion. And then they sell it, okay. And being more efficient, you probably get to like 30 or something on the money, maybe. I mean like 40, maybe 50 money. Oh yeah, take this yellow off. I only got enough time for one potion before it ever comes in. Is, is anyone coming in? Jeez, right, there we go. Another blue? You're kidding me. Alright. They're trolling me. The game's trolling me with another blue request. And we're not going to get that in time. Maybe it was a little faster. So that's straightforward the first level. Do we have enough money to make multiple characters now? No, we don't. So. Able again. Able again. Continue. Stage 2. That is where it's mixing colors. So it's going to be the same stage, just color mixing. You don't get two buckets, unfortunately. Right now, just as the start, but then be okay. So it's uh, red and, and yellow. So since the nice thing is since you get two grinders, you can do this way quicker. Red and yellow. Yeah, over here. We'll handle the potion side. Powders. Go. 
This, of course, would be way more efficient if I wasn't the only one playing this game right now. So I'm really hopeful, like I already said, um, that they will make another orange just cause. That they'll do remote play so that you can play online. Because that's something Overcooked did as well. well you don't want to compare to Overcooked too much, but the, the comparison has to happen at the same time. Like, there are things they should, you know, also do that Overcooked did, and there's just things they should do on their own that are different, of course. Be red. Prepare these potions. Prepare this. Here. Blue. Put a red in here. Put a red in here. I like the music. I like the visuals. It's a very cute looking game. I like the music for sure. Eh, yeah. loot! Put this here. here we go. Grind a yellow and a blue. Mortar and pestle it out. Like really, I think yeah, you just would you would just split up the work. Now the shopkeep character would be watering well not watering, just be doing some sort of duty on the next two. Like, there we go. Bam! Money made! Come on, make it yellow. Yep. Put the red over here. Out here. Make the blue, why not? Oh, what convenient timing! So, move this red out of the way. Give the yellow. And then, there you go. Imagine it was four people, so you would just have someone specifically on the plants. You would have someone specifically doing the grinding, someone specifically being shop, someone specifically making the potions. That's what the four people would do. Of course, there's more complexity as you go. When you get um, other things. Ooh, orange again? Okay. Take a moment. Oh, wait. Right, hurry up. Okay. That was green. Oops. Ah, oh, crap. Uh. Oh no. Ah, yeah, oh, shoot. I got hurt and do this. Oops. I mixed up my colors a second. What's this here? Fudge. Not good. We're gonna mix it with the potions. I think mixing potions also works. Double check soon. But look who screwed up. Woo. Okay, there it is. Yeah, there we go. Sell it! Alright. Got enough time for a bit more. Make it green, because why not? Now, there's only enough time for if they conveniently want a potion we have. Oh, thank god! Alright, there you go. Make it a green. Money being made. Whoop. There we go. Woo! Nice! Very nice. Okay. Locked out on that one. Continue. Okay, now we can afford to have a different character. Okay, we can afford to have Mary. Mary. Okay, so... Hmm. Picture would be nice. And buy that. Okay. This is this character. Now we can have a different person on there. Mary. Ah, there's a ghost. Alright. Just like last time, the third stage of the last stage. Right. But look at the sixth stage real quick as well. So I'll plant these. I'll water these. Now I want to see something. Whether or not Mary selling it or him selling it changes the price. We'll see soon enough. Okay, oh, make the potion. Make a blue. Go, 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 go. And there's of course gonna be ghosts. I will see what ghosts do. Now, this is definitely frantic. Woo. Make that red. Make that blue. There you go, Mary. So she should make twelve. No eleven. What? 
My extra motion sales. Hmm, odd. Okay, so... Unless I did it... Understood it wrong? Maybe... Or is it the end of the... I forget. Okay, so... Here's a blue for her to hold on to. A yellow needs to be made now. Okay, Go should be showing up eventually. Now it's getting a bit much. Okay. Oh, well. Okay, ghosts are happening. I'll put the blue here. I don't think the ghost will take the money. I'll let the ghost do. 11 again. Ghost is gonna hit her. We'll see what happens when it hits her. Uh, she got ghosted. What did it do? Oh, reverse controls. All right, that's fun. That's always fun. All right. Yellow powder, red in here. Alright, orange. That'll be red and yellow. Gotta make the potions first. Just waiting. Okay. There's your orange. Yeah, it, girl! There you go. Oh, we got 13 on that Alright, because it's mixed. Ghost in. So we gotta go reverse controls. Don't! Oh no! Reverse control screwed me! Oh no! Oh shoot! Right, yeah, there you go. Reverse controls. Man! I gotta mix these up. Shoot, that screwed me over on two potions. And they want a yellow. Oh good, okay. I have a yellow on hand here. There you go. Ghost made trouble. Freaking ghosts. Alright, I'll uh, grind another blue, grind another yellow. Give him the yellow. Here you go, pal. Yellow. Huh. Put him in there because I can. We have a red on hand already, so. Okay. A purple! Okay, so that's a red and a blue. Okay. Here you go, purple. Oop. Sell it. There we go. Put these down here. Maybe somebody will want a weird color. Put that there. Okay. Um, hmm. A yellow on hand. The order of priorities up in here. Oop. Of course, the wizard wants green. That require yellow and blue, yellow and blue potions. To make green. Yeah. What is over here? Mayhem, mayhem. Ghosts. Here's your green. Okay, let's even do it right this time. What? Got it? Get it. There we go. Okay. Whew. Crap. Grind one of these. Wasn't paying attention. Whoop. 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 Now we're having chaos. Okay, make it blue. We can't make it fast enough. We're gonna fail. Well, we're not gonna fail. It's just that we've succeeded. We just didn't make any more money. Crazy. Ding. Okay. Customers, all that. Money was made. So we could upgrade her so she makes more money every uh, push and sold. Do like that. Make it add up. Look at single player a second. Yep. So one unlocks the other. And so, yeah, I will on PC, I will on, yeah, cause I, yeah, I could one here, but on PC, I'm going to go through the entire single player story, just do all of that, see what I think, or on Switch. <laughs> I'm debating because PC, uh, certain things I do on Switch, if there's another one. I'll do it on Switch, I'll do it on Switch. It doesn't matter which one, the controls are pretty comparable in both. 
They're just saying, because it's just move a button. Move a button. That's all you got to do. No other buttons to worry about, just like Overcooked. Um, I think it was a run button, at least in Overcooked. Well, you're at the same speed this whole time. Can't remember, though. Um, so I'm going to go through all of this. Just feel out the game. Based on single player is what I'm going to think about as I'm doing this. Now, if the PC version, though, gets remote play, we can play with other people locally, online. It sounds weird when you say it like that, just like Overcooked has. Because I do have people I can play with through remote play. If that works, then for sure, I 100% would, would recommend this game. I'll, just preliminary thoughts. I'm going to play more, get deeper in on this. And then we'll go from there. We don't know the prices either yet. And that can be a deciding factor as well. But this is a pretty good chance of being a game I recommend to everybody. So we'll see. That right there is the game. I have fun. Hope you have fun watching. That's what's all about it. Having fun. Thanks for coming by and see you next time.